The easiest way to sell somebody who's already and recently, I'm sorry, it's, it, the easiest way to do this is to sell somebody who's already and recently purchased from somebody else. And that is very opposite than what we tend to hear. Sell someone who's already bought something similar. Super easy lay down sales, okay? Anyone feel themselves get a little bit of a razor? That's a big deal right there. That should make your business way easier right there, okay? Oh, I forgot I was gonna give you the example. This was the offer I left ClickFunnels with, like day one. Okay, when I sold it, like uh, four days after leaving, that was the offer, January uh, 2018. And then here's the next one, April 2018. What's funny is it's actually really similar. There's actually not a lot that's different inside of it. What changed was three months in, I realized I did not like my customer, okay? I changed my customer, and that's not to be rude, okay? But understand what I was doing was I was attracting more of those other people from the beginning of this. Steve, how much ROI will you guarantee me? Will you get on the phone with me for three hours? Will you do this? Will you do that? I'm like, oh, the offer is already so good. What is the issue? Instead of changing the offer, change the person. And then they saw the offer and said, oh, I value that. Okay. Does it make sense? Yeah, yeah baby. This is, it makes it a lot easier. Okay. Um, uh, I want to talk real quick about something called uh, temperature, uh, traffic temperature uh, and the dream customer. How many of you are familiar with Eugene Schwartz? Yeah. He's like, if for those of you guys who aren't familiar, he's like one of the Michael Jordans of the ad space, right? Back in, you know, 1927, 1995. Okay. And uh, set a lot of precedents for the way a lot of ads are written today. And he taught that there's three traffic temperatures. The first is what we refer to as hot traffic. Hot traffic, and there's warm, and there's cold. And the cold traffic, now he puts them on two different scales here. He said, the traffic that's coming into the funnel for cold, they are not aware that the problem you're solving even exists. They're not aware that the solutions are even there. Somebody's like, do you think that's an easy person to sell? No, it's usually where people go bankrupt. I'm sending cold Facebook ads, hopefully not, right? <laughs> Um, the next person is somebody who is problem aware. I'm sorry, they're not problem aware. I'm sorry, it's the other way around. I accidentally put that the wrong way. They are aware of the problems, but they're not aware of solutions. They're like, yeah, I know that's an issue, but I don't, we're not going to do anything about it, right? And then the next person is somebody who is both problem aware and solution aware. They're aware of the issues that your marketplace solves, and they're also aware of a lot of the solutions out there, meaning they're probably aware of your competition. I'm actually going to add... I'm going to make sure that Eugene isn't listening to us. I'm going to add one thing to your formula, bro. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> okay. Dream. For me, you can be hot traffic. Look at this. You could be hot traffic, but not be a buyer. That's still, in my opinion, a really not fun person to sell. I want to sell somebody who's problem aware and solution aware and a buyer of one of those solutions. Okay, you see what I'm saying there? Huge difference. I'm not actually going for hot traffic. I call it dream traffic. It's the traffic that is the buyer that is problem and solution aware. And why do I want the buyer? Yeah, the difference between zero and one buck is massive, right? It's free versus a dollar, huge mentality shifts. Right, the amount of, I've, put, I've actually invested my, my, the difference between a dollar and a million, right? It's, it's, not, it's not even that much of a difference between zero and one based on the kind of person that comes in. Right, I, um, I remember, uh, did anyone go through affiliate outrage, that program? Yes. It's a good program, right? It, well, I, I think so. <laughs> I thought it was a good program, I liked it. Did you like it? <laughs> so the program I created around the affiliate marketing space and it's a free thing. And what's funny is that program has caused probably more headaches than solutions because it's a free program. I should have just charged a dollar. It would have been way better. Um, is that interesting? So we often think that we're going to go through all these people. Look at all these people who are problem aware and solution aware. I need to sell the whole market. And you'd even hear people like Shark Tank to be like, the market, uh, this year there will be X number of this thing sold. That doesn't mean that's your market, right? Are they problem aware? Are they solution aware? Are they a buyer? Okay, okay, they're a buyer, but are they even aware? You see what I'm saying? Does that make sense when I'm dropping? Cool. I forgot to bring my gold bar. I could just let go of it. <laughs> hey, this is a really cool quote from Dan Kennedy. 
He says, I've often said, a buyer is a buyer is a buyer. I'm sure a lot of us have heard that. What I mean is that once a person proves their willingness and ability to buy a product or service, they are the most likely prospects to purchase more of that product or service. Cool. The woman who owns 50 pairs of shoes is certainly a better prospect for a 51st pair than the woman who owns none. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Sell the people who've already been purchasing the thing around what you sell. Way easier. 